Today I am going to do a wee bit of a review on a new fitness watch that I got. Unfortunately my other one stopped working which was quite a pain because I like to track and keep an eye on where I'm going with my steps and my exercise and that kind of thing. I claimed my insurance on it and thankfully they were able to replace it because it wasn't just a wear and tear issue, it was a manufacturer issue. So I ended up upgrading and getting a Vivo Fit 3. It's probably not going to focus on the box because my camera can't refocus while it's recording which is a pain but it's a Garmin Vivo Fit 3 activity tracker and in here it has the steps, a year's battery life and it has move IQ so it gauges when you are doing an activity and it starts to automatically record what you're doing. Some cool other features that I have found with this is you can link your device up to an app called Connect Garmin and you can track your steps, my age, my weight, my gender, my name, all of that kind of thing. Mine is set on private so I don't do competitions with other people just because I, I love competitions but I don't like to, I'm not a sore loser but I would be that kind of person. I don't know if you watched all the straight in the head. Leanne and that they had the um, watches I'd be like her if I saw someone was beating me I'd be up jogging on the spot trying to beat them so I just I don't know when to stop sometimes so I just was like no I'll just challenge myself and I'll watch other people from afar and see what they're doing and then see if I can up myself currently my daily target is 10,000 steps and probably out of out of 10 I probably make 8 of those so I don't think too bad but I am going back to work soon so I should be able to achieve that easily because I work in retail. My watch's screen is set on time and then by one click it will change to the date, another click changes to the current steps that I have done, the remaining goal that I have, the kilometres that I've walked or miles depending on how you use your metric and the calories that I have burnt, so these calories are by, I'm not linked up to my fitness pal with this, these calories are just by my height, weight and like basically my BMI gives you what you are burning generally, so it might not be 100% accurate but um, because I don't enter in my calories that I eat and then it goes back to time. Now if you hold the button down it will go to timer, sync, pair and about and it's just all like your version um, and the type it is and it's numbers. It also has an alarm which I haven't yet figured out how to turn off. I don't actually know how I turned it on but now it's on and it started being on at like 12am it will go off. I'm pretty sure now it's either 10 something or like 1 o'clock and I don't know how it started. It just started going so now I have random alarm that it's not loud it's just kind of like a beeping but it I, I have no idea it just started so I don't know what my watch is trying to tell me but yes it does it has an alarm that you can set I yet to figure that out the app itself is a breeze you basically hold down the button twice until it gets to sync and then you flick your bluetooth on and pull down to make it reset and it will connect and it puts all your stats onto this one app, like 12 months worth of data. It can see from where you started to now and how you're going and shows you daily progress, monthly and yearly, and it shows you graphs as well. Okay, the app is seamless. It's such a good, easy app to use and same with the watch. So my pros about it is it is easy, it's fast to learn, easy to set up, and basically everything is right at your hands, on your wrist and in your phone. The one thing that I find an issue with the watch is the little lock here. The bits there, you should be able to see them now. And the little wee bar bits go into them, but because they are across as well, these bits here, I don't know if you'll be able to see them, they literally just slide out. So if I do it this way, you should hopefully be able to see here. And then if I turn this Bit, it turns the middle bar just down there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But these bits here are pretty flimsy so they easily come off and unfortunately if it gets caught on something or I accidentally rub it against the edge of something or because it is kind of grippy as well so if I, even if I 
bumped it into the side of my own top of my handbag it would just pop off. Once that little bit gets out it's basically all over with a very slight tug it would fall off so or dangle there and if you haven't noticed it would fall off so that would be the only downfall is that the wrist part or that connector bit there isn't very stable I'd probably give the wrist part maybe a four maybe a five I would probably prefer the one that I used to have which was quite firm you didn't you couldn't knock it off because it was quite sleek there was nothing big here to get caught on so that would be the only con otherwise I would recommend this watch to anybody who was looking anyone who is learning or someone who has been exercising and counting steps and all that kind of stuff for years I'd recommend it to anyone so I would give it a big thumbs up and overall I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed that review and you can make a decision on what kind of fitness watch suits you best. I have stuck with Garmin this whole way so my first ever watch was a Garmin um, Vivo Fit and I have upgraded to the Garmin Vivo Fit 3. So I really enjoy Garmin products, they're tidy, they're nice and their designs fit well with everyday life whether it's work, exercise or going out. Thanks for watching guys.